Hey guys, I told you I'd get you a little treat, so this is a video to hopefully help you understand your homework a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna do the first three with you on here if you wanna look along. And so let's look at this first one. 35% of 300 is what number? Um, I'm gonna write a few notes over here. So we know that when we're using the percent proportion, we have a part over a whole, and we're gonna equal that to whatever our percent is out of 100. So using this idea, I need to know a part, a whole, a percent, and 100. So out of here, immediately you can see that I have 35%. So if I have 35%, that means I can immediately put that into my percentage box. I had so many students today putting that in the part. Well, that's not the part. That is your percent of 300. Also, I did kind of give you guys a hint today, um, at least in my second two classes, that a part can be looked of as the word is, and a whole can be looked at as the word of. I don't love this all the time, but for these first three problems, it definitely helps. So we're going to be looking at 35% of 300. That means we're taking a percent of a whole, and that 300 is representing your whole. So what we don't know is what number is our part. So now we're going to go ahead and make a percent proportion to represent these three values. In our percent proportion, we're always looking at it out of a percent, and a percent is always 100. So your percentage, 35, is going to be out of 100, and that always goes together. So your percent always goes with your 100. And then this is your part over your whole. So I'm going to say I don't know the part, and I do know my whole is 300. In this case, you can actually just use a simple um, equivalent ratios to answer. So this is 100 times 3 is 300. So 35 times 3 is your answer. And 35 times 3 is 105. So 105 should have been your answer. I hope that helps clear it up anything when you're missing a part. Now let's see um, if we're missing a percent. I immediately know that I'm missing a percent because the question says what percent? What percent of 135? So 27 is what percent of 135? I know I don't know my percent. That's what I'm looking for. So I can actually automatically go to my proportion and say, I know what I'm going to be missing is my percent, but I know that's always going to be out of 100. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Now we need to figure out if 27 is the part or the whole and if 135 is the part or the whole. So it says 27 is. So here's where that little keyword kind of helps you. 27 is what percent of 135? So we know 27 is the part, and then of 135 means that that is your whole. So if I was going to set this up, we're always doing our part over our whole, and that will be your um, proportion. So we are going to use cross product to solve this one. I want you guys practicing cross product because it's going to be really good and useful in this unit. So I know I have 135x, so I'm going to write that equation, 135x equals 27 times 100. So that's going to be 2700. And then to solve this equation, I need to get x alone. And if I want to get x alone, then I need to get rid of this 135 that's messing with my x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 135 because that is... Um, the inverse operation of multiplication. So to get rid of this multiplication, I do that. I'm going to cancel those because 135 divided by 135 is 1. And now I need to figure out what, 120, what 2,700 is um, divided by 135. So if you work that out and you do your division, you will get that your answer is 20. Now what were we missing? We're missing the percentage. So if you do not actually show a percent sign in this answer, it will be considered wrong because 20 holes and 20%, which is 20 of 100, is completely different from each other. So make sure that you're doing that. So, so far we finished two. Let's go ahead and look at this third one. Um, I'm excited because I immediately see, all right, I know the percent because I have 12%. So if I know I have 12%, and for some reason, this isn't working for me. But um, if I know I have 12%, I already know my percentage is 12. 
So we'll put 12% and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that portion of my um, proportion. So I know it's 12 over 100 and that 100 is representing my percent sign. So now I need to say, well, what is 66? So it says 12% of what number? So I'm finding a percent of some number that I don't know. And you're always finding a percent of a whole. So what we're actually missing is our whole. And then is 66. So it's saying the percentage part is 66 and we don't know the whole. So your 66 is actually the part. A lot of students put 66 as the whole here. So you need to, you need to recognize that 12% of what is 66, meaning that you eventually got the answer 66 for your part. So if I'm gonna fill this correctly into my proportion, I know that 66 is the part and I don't know my whole. So again, I'm gonna use cross product here. Um, I'm gonna do 66 times 100, which is 6600. And that is gonna be um, 12x equals 6600. So of course, again, like the last problem, I'm gonna divide both sides by 12, and 12 divided by 12 is one. So one times x is just x. And then now I need to do 6600 divided by 12, and I'll go ahead and do that with you over here. 6600 divided by 12. Um, 12 goes into 66 five times, and that is gonna be 60. When I get rid of that, bring down a zero. 12 goes into 60 five times again, but I'm not done, and I think that's what people have been messing up with on this one. They keep trying to put 50. Well, if I put 60 here, I still have a zero to bring down. So you need to say one more time, how many times is 12 going to zero, and that's actually zero times. So the whole here is 550. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, that gives you three parts of your homework, and hopefully it helps clarify how you find the answers for these, whether you're missing a part, a whole, or the percent.